Is Dallas Fort Worth headed into a recession? Let's talk about it and let's talk about all the morons that keep saying it in the news. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with another Q&A video for Dallas Fort Worth area real estate. And the question we've been getting a lot lately is, is the Dallas Fort Worth real estate market in a recession? And the answer is no. End of video. Catch you on the next one. Just kidding. Let's go into a little bit more detail there. News sources everywhere are talking about an inverted yield curve and all sorts of economic triggers and things that could maybe possibly potentially someday maybe around the corner turn into a recession. Man, that's a whole lot of maybe could be possibly. And that's exactly the conversation we're having. Even locally, lots of headlines talking about a potential recession. It's all potential. It's all maybe. And my frustration, and I am frustrated, my frustration for you and for me, the Dallas-Fort Worth area homeowner or want-to-be homeowner or soon-to-be homeowner or someone that's thinking about moving to this area or moving within the area, is that if we're not careful, all that talk is going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And the talk of recession will create fear of recession. And the fear of recession will create what I call pause right? I always say a confused mind says no. A confused mind doesn't necessarily do anything negative. It just doesn't do anything. So when people are confused, is the market changing? Are prices going to go down? Are rates going to go up? They tend to simply sit and do nothing, meaning stay where you are, not buy, not sell, not move, not go for the new job, not, not start a new business. All those things are, in my opinion, negatives for uh, economic growth, for the local, uh, you know, business environment, for 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 community growth and community, you know, positive engagement. So, here are the facts. At the moment, the real estate market, which is one of the primary drivers of any economy, especially in the United States, and by all means, especially in Texas, and especially in Dallas Fort Worth, that real estate market is very very strong. In Dallas right now, we have about three months of housing inventory, and that's a good little trigger data point for you. The absorption rate or the amount of inventory says that we are in a seller's market, which means there are not very many homes on the market, and there are a lot of buyers interested in buying them. Most markets are driven by supply and demand. If you ever took an economics class as far back as seventh grade, you've heard that. And right now what we have is low supply and high demand, which means prices rise, not in a way that's harmful to the economy, but in a way that's healthy and, and generates robust growth. We have corporate relocations, job growth, low unemployment. Uh, we have uh, population growth. We have um, a lot of positives, low interest rates. Now, there's some argument to be made around whether that's healthy or not. But the general consensus is our local economy is fantastic, has been for a long time, and really should be for the foreseeable future. I see the only real threat to that outside of some crazy geopolitical, you know, unpredicted, you know, war kind of thing or the potential coming uh, political season being really, really crazy. Outside of that stuff, the only real influence on our market that could be negative is all of this commentary, all the local news stories, TV, radio, media, you know, uh, news, all these things, especially from the national media that are saying we could be entering in a recession. Now, there are parts of the country that may be more likely, more inclined or closer to a statistical recession. But generally speaking, our country is on you know, relatively firm footing. Now, I'm not here to talk to you about national debt and budgeting and all those things, but generally speaking, we have low unemployment and lots of opportunity. In Texas, even when we have faced recession, much more often than not, home values have remained stable, if not continued to climb at a relatively positive rate. So even if that were to happen, which I don't think it is or should happen anytime soon, we should still see cost of living remain relatively attractive, and housing prices continue to climb, and it still be a good climate to own property in. So all things considered, I don't see any reason to be fearful. The one warning I have is let's squelch this conversation. Let's stop looking for signs of recession and therefore by default creating them by creating a huge pause in our local economy, whether it's housing or otherwise. Um, 
Let's get out there. Buy and sell homes. And don't do that if you and your family and your finances are not prepared. But if you are and you want to do that, start a business. Look for a better job. Go increase your education and your ability to buy and sell within the marketplace. Be active. Be optimistic. And North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, and areas in and around will continue to thrive and grow and, and, and experience the positive momentum that we've had for a long time. There are no current signs that we should go into recession. But there are some maybes, potentials down the road. Let's not bring them into the forefront any faster than we need to. So stay positive. Stay optimistic. Let us know if we could help you buy or sell or invest or have a discussion with you about starting a business or increasing your education and growing. We'd love to help you with any of that that we can, whether or not we get paid for it or not. So you can contact us and some information below. But stay positive. Be encouraged. Stand firm and resist all the talk of recession. Otherwise, we might create one when there shouldn't have been one in the first place. So stay positive. Be encouraged. If we can help, let us know. I will talk to you on the next one. I'll see you down in the comments. Let me know what you think. We'll talk down there. Have a good one.